Welcome back, everybody. This is OG Gaming and another game, another game episode of Ali Noral. Yes, sir. This is a pretty cool game. I'm just muddling around, trying to plug at it here. Just fixing a few things here. Okay. So let's go ahead, put up the volume here a bit, and. I think I already talked to this person here, so. Uh, see what she has to say. Speak to my attorney. Speak. He swats cops like you like flies. Wow, such a poet, and don't even know it. Okay, there's a car down here. Let's see. All right, let's go down there and take a look. You'll want to see this, Phelps. There, laid out on the trunk. And that isn't even the best part. Ooh, quite the undies. They've been torn off. Where did you find them? They were stuffed in the young lady's handbag. I'll run a trace for semen when I get back to the lab. Okay, it's in the goodie bag. She's a long way from home. I would... I would agree. Okay. License plate. Looks like they're lucky they weren't more badly injured. Must have been unconscious. Being relaxed tends to lessen the soft tissue damage. Hey, I uh, hold on, folks. I'll be right back. I'm gonna grab me something to drink. Wake up, Cole. Alright folks, I am back. Listen. Yes. Drinking some uh, Perrier. Okay. So, we checked the purse. Nothing good. Nothing going on there. Let's see anybody on this side here. Just saw the blood already. So. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, so let's check the old. Hmm. We'll check the people here. That's, uh.
Okay, let's go ahead and um We've seen that. Don't want that. Location. Yes. Already there, so that's the current location, but I don't know why I just picked it out. Check out the location again. Okay. See if she has anything else to say other than speak to me, Tony. What can you tell us about the passenger in your car? Jessica Hamilton. Poor Jessica. It's been a rough day for her. She's desperate to break into movies. What more can I say? I think you're lying, Mrs. McAfee. I think something happened to Jessica yesterday before the crash. I'm offended, Sunshine. Do you have any proof? Yeah, that looks a little bit nervous, if you ask me. Do you get paid by the hour for doing nothing? <laughs> I didn't think so. You should be more careful. Behind the glitz, this can be a very rough old town. This is a big scene, Phelps. We need to get our bearings. Let's go see the coroner. Drunk driver? Maybe not. How so? Well, a head I found without a body piqued my interest. See what you think. <laughs> Alas, poor Yorick. I knew him, Horatio. <clears throat> Is it real? No. I think it's supposed to be a replica of an Indian shrunken head. It's some kind of curio or movie prop. See the casting marks? Well, let's take a look at this. What's it made from? Plaster of Paris would be my first guess, then painted. So we can rule out the murder angle? No, you can rule that in. That thing was wedging the accelerator to the floor. Whoever did it wanted these women dead. Another day, another dollar. We should speak to Ballard again. She might not be telling us the whole story. You notice I'm going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth.
We found a shrunken head. It was used to tamper with your car. <laughs> That's funny. You see, I normally don't drive off cliffs. The last thing I remember is getting behind the wheel. It's obviously some kind of movie prop. You must know where it came from. In case you hadn't noticed, I am the talent. And the talent doesn't deal with props or sets or any of that kind of stuff. Why don't you ask Mark Bishop which prop house he uses? Okay. I should look a little nervous. Yeah. Yeah. Do you get paid by the hour for doing nothing? Anxious, anxious, anxious. You mentioned a Mark Bishop. You think he might have had something to do with this? He is a movie producer. As for his involvement, you just leave it to me and my husband <clears throat> to worry about. That's a lie and you know it. This goes deeper than that. I'm sorry. Maybe you'd like to go ahead and prove that, honey. Yep, she's nervous. I'm in pain here, detective. I nearly died. Now you're throwing these stories around here like Nervous. facts? Mrs. McAfee, I think it would be in everyone's best interest if you accompanied Patrolman Gonzalez back to the receiving Yeah, I hospital. suck on the answers. I'm being taken in. You could say that. On what grounds? On the grounds that you are under the influence of narcotics and that you are withholding information from the police. My husband is going to want a word with you, Sonny Jim. I think we're good here. Let's go see what we can shake out of the kid. Said. Man, he's ready in the car like a German Shepherd. Next, I want to make sure that kid is all right. Come on, Phelps, Central Receiving Hospital. Go right. Got in the car. Oh, I burned up too much time. KGPL to car 11K, 11 King. The car crash victim has regained consciousness at Central Receiving Hospital.
I guess I gotta take this vehicle. Help me out. I wanna make sure that kid is all right. Come on, Phelps. Central Receiving Hospital. Holy mackerel, that was quick. Hello, Detective Phelps, here to interview a Jessica Hamilton. Jessica Hamilton? Oh yes, she's in the room right behind you, Detective. You can't hold me here. No, I don't need to be manhandled by a doctor. I need my lawyer. You're feeling better since hey, this morning, Jessica? Where is this telephone? A little. Do you know my who head I am? Just swimmy. Hello, Jessica. Uh, my name is Cole Phelps. I'm a policeman. I'd like to talk to you about your accident, if that's okay. Um, okay. Can you tell me what you remember about the crash? It's all kind of fuzzy. I remember waking up here. Nothing happened yesterday. Are you going to sign him out? Yes. You're holding out on me, Jessica. Please, I want my doctor. I'm not sure I can answer any more questions right now. <laughs> I have a little bit. Embraceive. We need to get in touch with your parents, Jessica, to tell them what has happened. Oh, you don't need to worry them. They sent me along to stay with Aunt June. They trust her to take care of me. Legally, you're still a minor, Jessica. We have to inform your parents. Please, please don't do that. My daddy will kill me. She's obviously nervous. Look at her. See? Mm -hmm. She's agitated. That's not the question. How did you meet Mr. Bishop? Well, Junie is a big movie star. You probably know that. She's doing a new movie. Hmm. What do you know about Bishop? He makes movies. I had to do a screen test. That's when you say some lines in front of the camera with the lights turned on you. Is your head feeling better? Are you feeling better? I know what happened to you, Jessica. Where exactly did it take place? Please, it's scary. It's really difficult to think of anything. Did you start them on morphine? Jessica, I really need you to help me here. I remember the mermaid. Was the mermaid in the movie too? No, it was on the front of a building. We pulled up in front of the mermaid. You should think about going home, Jessica. You're getting mixed up with people who will treat you like last week's trash. Are you crazy? I can't go home. I want to be a star. You said I'm gonna get this rewired job done, or what? Well, that was a fun. It's the tale of this town, Cole. Lambs that go willingly to slaughter. Who the hell is that? Must be her lawyer. He certainly expedited her release. I don't like it, Cole. Why is she in such a hurry? 
We should follow her. There she goes. Come on. I need to get a car wash. Safe distance. Ballard is definitely up to something. She seems to have made a remarkably speedy recovery. This is where she's going to see what she's up spill to. the beans. Of course she's discovered me. I'm standing right in front of the front door. Maybe I'll just staying, uh, hang out outside and look. Get in there and see what she's up to. on the phone what Brown Derby. I know that place. Any day now. Try this again. Get in there and see what she's up to. Can't go in there, so don't use that word. Getting ready to kill. What? Okay, I got it. I 
have to wait till she gets on the phone. Then Phelps. Get in there and see what she's up to. Where's that goddamn waitress? Get in there and see what she's up to. him taught a lesson. You know what I want. Well, then make someone else do it. You still know people out here, don't you? Then make some calls. I'm going to be very clear about this. Quite the shock, caller. Get this done, or I'm... Wilson's Hotel. Mr. Mark Bishop, that son of a bitch, lives in apartment 803. Sure, I got the film. What's the story? I'm guessing she didn't stop for light refreshments. She made a call. Sounds like Mark Bishop has a heap of trouble headed his way. I've got an address. Wilson's Hotel, apartment 803. Oh shit. You better step on it. If he's got any sense, he'll be as far away from home as possible. If he had any sense, he wouldn't have tried bumping off Guy McAfee's wife in the first place. Before he's done the job properly. McAfee will break a fella's legs just for looking at his body. What did you make of the kid? You believe her story? I think she was doped out of her tiny mind and given the casting couch. That fucking bitch Ballard sold her out. So if Ballard was doing someone a favor, why did they try to kill her? to the apartment before someone gets hurt. Going fast as I can, boys. Wow. I tried to stop them. It's it's room 803, left out of the elevator. John Wayne. 
In. Tanto, get in. Sounds like we're about to make it a hat trick of hysterical female witnesses. Look, lady, I can help you or I can help your husband. Which one is it gonna be? Please, I don't know where he is. Bullshit. Let her have it, Eddie. Yeah, I forgot the number. Oh, right here. Hello. Any ideas? Gun it! Let's get to the apartment before someone gets hurt. I curse you and your children. All right. If you really want to dance. Ow. I'm about to break your goddamn jaw. Ow. This is going to end in tears. Shouldn't have tangled with me, friend. A nice breeze. <laughs> you must be out of your tiny mind. Hit him, my friend. Hit him. Oh, yeah. Finish him, move. Finish him. Are you injured, Mrs. Bishop? No. I'm all right now. No, not at all. Those horrible, awful men. Oh, I know. Perhaps you should sit down, ma'am. Yes. Yes. Forgive me, officers. I'm very flushed. I'll just sit down for a moment. That's perfectly normal, ma'am. Take a moment while we look around. Yes. Thank you. Well, just look at this mess. Oh yeah, look at that. Antique. Incidental. Those men. I think they work for Guy McAfee. Do you know the name? No. Why should I? June Ballard is married to Guy McAfee. 
Have you heard of her? <clears throat> that slut. She's been badgering my husband for days. Mrs. McAfee alleges that your husband tried to kill her and her friend last night. I think you should tell us what you know. My husband's a movie producer. This has something to do with his new picture. He doesn't include me in his business. Your husband was using June Ballard in his new movie? Hardly. Mark feels that June Ballard has limited range and is over the hill. Oh, wow. Uh... Your husband was at a casting yesterday with a young girl? Not that I know of. He told me he was looking at locations. The picture's been cast. Jessica remembered a mermaid. Aye. The mermaid on the front of the prop store. You better come clean with me. This is a sick town, detective. Are you sure you really want to know? The truth is, my husband likes them young. And you think that's okay? I was 16 when I first met him. I thought he was a genius, a magician with film. I was 20 before I realized he was just a B-movie hack. But he's nothing compared to some of the monsters at these big studios. My guess is, Ballard sacrificed her little friend. Happens to a lot of girls. I'm grateful for your help, officer, but it's time you went and brought this business with Mark to a close. I doubt it. Looks like we found our mermaid. Who are these men in the picture? My husband, Mark, and Marlon Hopgood. They work together on occasion. That's Hopgood's shop. doesn't appear to be connected. Great Wall of Babylon. A replica of a replica. Great Wall of Bal Babylon. It's not good. Just keep looking. Looks like the old movie set downtown. Doesn't tell me anything. Well, it doesn't talk. It doesn't talk. Oh, 
don't think this is going to help us. Presented to Mark. Picks up his hat. It would take a smarter man than me to connect that. I don't think so. It's not my color. Hmm. Don't think this is any use to us. do to earn twenty thousand dollars Where can we find your husband, ma'am? He told me he would be on set. That's all I know. Either we find him or McAfee's people do, Mrs. Bishop. If you care for him, you should make sure that we find him first. I do care for him. But I don't really know where he'd go if he were in trouble. Hopgood might know. Cheese. Why is your husband paying Lorna Hopgood $20,000? Lorna? Marlon's ex-wife? Are you sure?
Your husband looks like he's being blackmailed. They obviously have something on him if he's prepared to kill to cover it up. Why is the payment going to Hopgood and not McAfee? Lorna works at a check cashing place in Hollywood. You need to ask Hopgood why he needs that much money in cash. Your husband is in trouble. It could go easier for him if you were more helpful, Mrs. Bishop. He's a big boy, detective, and so are you. This is Hollywood. There's always a deal to be done. Holly weird. Such attitude. Let me make a call. Operator, message for KGPL. Putting you through now. Phelps, one, two, four, seven. How could I help, detective? I need a location on a silver screen prop store. Just a moment. Silver screen props, corner third and Figueroa. Thanks, ma'am. Right on. movie star, a wannabe starlet, and a movie producer's wife, and finally rubbing shoulders with the almost rich and famous. And from the stories they've given us, clearly none of them can act. Out of the car, police. I need the gun in the glove compartment to shoot you. <laughs> LAPD, police emergency. Not in your life, Buster. Mrs. Bishop knows more than she's letting on. She doesn't seem to realize how much trouble her husband is in. The LAPD are the least of their worries right now. Yeah. You'd think she'd have gotten the hint after those hatchet man brief decorated her apartment. Maybe she's just low. That price is outrageous. All right, folks, I'm going to end it now. Dude, two or time she's in restraints. On. She didn't seem like your average giddy broad with nothing between the ears. Or she might just be trying to buy enough time for Bishop to put a couple of oceans between him and McCaffrey. And... This is where I'm going to start off on the next pursuit, I guess. This is OG Gaming. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and share it. I'll talk to you on the next one later, guys.